Good morning. I feel like I look like super just like whatever. We're rolling with it. I don't feel like I look great, but you know, it is also 6 30 in the morning because I got a meeting to go to and they're coming at 7 o'clock. So I've been like up and my body would not let me sleep to my alarm instead they're like nope we're getting up so i tried making a matcha didn't go very well so we are gonna try to make like at least one cup of tea because i'm just like really feeling it and i also am taking some nut pod creamer so that i can try just having like maybe a little bit of coffee Coffee like does tend to upset my stomach and I've been kind of looking into now that I am doing these meetings and um doing these like getting up early I am looking into like a sensitive stomach coffee and honestly on Amazon there are a lot of options so I am looking into that but I just I don't know coffee does not like me anymore and so I'm looking into some ideas. We are going to try this organic robust chai. I don't think I'm going to like it, so I think I'm going to do it in the cup first rather than doing it in my to-go cup because I just am not sure I'm going to like it. It is this like earthy with Indian spices, which I know my sister would probably love this. And it is very like, it's supposed to be like, from my understanding, like, chai that is more, like, earthy is more, like, spicy and does not have that, like, sweet and spice taste that, like, a chai tea from, like, Starbucks does. Um, so, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna heat up some coffee. I need some water. Yeah, can you tell I'm tired? And let's roll with it. It is time to test taste the Indian chai tea or Robiat chai tea. These are all Harney's brand too as well. They're all still from that like little box that my aunt got me. So we are still working on getting through that box. I just took a break from it and so we are on now like part three or four. This one is actually very good. It tastes very much like the like spicy spices are not very strong. So it tastes very much like chai tea, which is very satisfying because I just like woke up this morning and really needed some like actual tea. I am probably going to have some coffee at the event, but I just like really did not end up making tea this morning. I tried to make the matcha tea, but like that was a total fail. And so, yeah. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. Um, I don't know, like, personally, I still like, I like, I still like a good, like, just chai, ch fancy chai tea, you know, where you get it from Starbucks and it's like, you know, got the, um, you know, oat milk in it. Um, but that's just like my preference i also like don't normally buy chai tea at home but i do like that this like really like fills that like void like i probably would buy this to like keep me from going to starbucks i have not been able to find that with matchas i like with matchas it's like the only option for me is to go to starbucks and that is it I will see you guys tomorrow for our next test taste. We are testing out day two of the tea. I am in my Udi. I'm getting comfortable. 
and it's about like two something and I decided I wanted some tea and I've been doing laundry and meal prepping all day. I'm trying to work on like multiple videos today because it's a good day to do that. And so we are trying this Darjeeling tea. It's supposed to be mellow and light. And it says it's unique and uncommon. And it says ornamental teas. Um, it's a black tea. I'm not sure that I'm going to like it. It really was did not sound too exciting. But we're going to test it out. And I will let you know. I'm thinking about putting a movie on. And maybe doing some knitting. But I am still working on deciding what to do. It is time to test taste the Darlene tea. I'm scared. I know some people love like Earl Grey and just plain black tea. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't like it. It literally just, it tastes too black to me. It's not my, there's not enough like flavor for me. This is enough. But hopefully tomorrow will be a better taste in tea. That completes day two. <laughs> Good morning. I am definitely still rocking the pajamas because it is only nine something. I do not remember whether we're on day three or day four, but I feel like we're around that time. But I have definitely taken some time off from the tea video because I have been working on some other videos. Um, I decided I wanted more tea. So we are going to test out another tea. I have the one that I ended up grabbing out of this box today is Revitalizing Organic Ozam Tea. It's a black tea. It's another unique and uncommon tea, which makes me not so sure that I'm going to like it. It kind of sounds very plain. Um, mm. It says it's strong and malty. Well, we're gonna try it and if we don't like it, we don't like it. And we're just gonna see. We are back, the tea is ready. I am incredibly nervous to try this because I am, I love black tea if it has like cinnamon in it and you know, has the more flavors in it. This one just sounds like it's just going to be so plain. It's okay. It's okay. Like, it's not awful. I will say it smelled bad, like, when I was putting it in the teacup, but... Yeah, it's okay. It's not, like... I'm not going to say like I would buy this because I probably wouldn't, but I don't love it either. But like, I will drink it. It's fine. It, it, if this was at like a restaurant, I'd probably drink it. It's fine. It's not the most satisfying, but oh well, hopefully I we keep going. We'll get some more teas in there. We have two more days, I believe, and so for this video. So we will see what other teas pop up. I feel like this one, there's been a lot of teas that have just been not my jam. So hopefully we will get some more teas in there that are like, make me give happy vibes. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. And, um, <laughs> yeah, see you guys next time. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. We are definitely going with a more cozy vibe today because it is 
super rainy and dreary outside. I am definitely feeling the vibe of it is just a knitting and movie day. I decided I really wanted some more tea, so we are going to test out another tea. I actually have had this tea before, and it is not on purpose. This is just what's in the box. It is the hot cinnamon spice tea. I have had this tea before. One of my friends has a lot of like cinnamon flavored teas. She really likes cinnamon flavored teas and so I have actually tried some of them. Um and I really they're so good and they're very if you love cinnamon, you'll like it a lot. So I am very excited because this time I can actually say I like it. So let's go ahead and make some tea. We are back and we are test tasting the tea. But like I said, I've had it before, so I do know I like it. Um, so I don't know if we're really like testing the tea, but I'm still gonna drink it for y'all. Um, because what kind of tea testing video would it be if I don't test it? <laughs> so what I like about it, it does, it, it already, it's like really, the flavor's really kicking in. What I really like about it is that like you taste the cinnamon and so it's like nice and strong on the flavor and you don't, like the black tea is not as like strong so you get that like extra caffeine flavor of the black tea without getting like all that bitterness like because the cinnamon is so sweet. And so that's kind of what I like. I also just love cinnamon and fall flavors and winter flavors. It is like definitely the cinnamon teas, the cardamom teas, those are like my teas for this time of year. I have just fallen in love with that time of tea, especially like watching a cute movie with it or knitting. Oh. I actually have one project I'm currently trying to finish and then hopefully I will be able to finish this one other project. I have a couple of projects I've just finally set aside because I need a break, a mental break from them. But that's how we knitters and crocheters get sometimes where we just finally are like, I'm done with you for right now. <laughs> and so I don't know. And I definitely also, I am not doing the farmer's market this year. I really wanted to. So I am very like sad to not be doing it, but they're charging more to do it this time. And so, and I just like can't afford that. So I am going to not do it. And I'm very excited though to be able to just kind of use that time to do whatever I want, learn new skills as a knitter, work on new projects. I have been following a lot of like knitting pe people on YouTube and like so they have found, I have learned about so many different projects that I want to try out now and so I am definitely trying to like work on expanding my knitting skills. I actually did socks for my boyfriend and if you watched the most recent video I did, you saw him try vegan snack. Um, I am very excited to finally almost be done with the socks. The, they took a while and so that was kind of a downer to have them take so long but at the same time, they're my first socks, like adult socks I've ever made. And so I am very excited, though, to be able to have, like, done them and to um, be able, like, honestly, I want to make 
a pair for me and maybe, maybe, we'll see. Maybe this time for Christmas I will make socks for everybody. I don't know. Um, I am actually working on finishing the Christmas gift I was going to make for my sister. Um, and so that has been fun. I am very, um, I'm also finding some new shows to watch that involve like knitting in them, like, um, Young Sheldon, I have really gotten into that show right now, especially because Sheldon's mom knits in it, and I just love watching her knit, but then at the same time, like, I'm over here like, can I just be like the cool grandma that knits? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just like, I'm weird like that, okay? <laughs> and so, um, yeah. <laughs> and... I've also watched some movies, but I find that, like, if I have not seen the movie, it's a lot harder to pay attention if I am doing a project that where, like, I really need a focus. So, I, that is kind of where I'm at. I also just like watching YouTubers and their, like, podcasts because I can, like, kind of watch, like, I can listen to them and then work on my project. And so... I also have a book I'm working on finishing. Hopefully that'll be finished by the time this goes out. Uh, I am so like, I don't know what has gotten into me. I just like seem to be taking forever to finish this book and it's driving me crazy. <sighs> Honestly, I, I know I have another cinnamon tea and we, ha we might end up making more just for the sake of it is so satisfying especially on this like dreary day i am sorry i don't know why i got into this like talkative mode but i will see you guys for i believe day five and <laughs> hope you guys i'll see you guys for day five bye <laughs> good morning hope you guys are doing well this is day five of the testing out teas and we still got like so many more teas to do but of course I'm gonna just do a whole nother video because <laughs> I feel like that would take forever. Um, I was in the mood for a ginger tea and I found an organic ginger turmeric tea. If I broke the rules, sorry. I just really wanted a specific tea and they just happen to have an organic ginger turmeric tea. And so in the little box, it pretty much just says that it has organic apple pieces, organic ginger root, organic lemongrass, organic turmeric, organic hibiscus, everything's organic, beetroot, cardamom, and nutmeg. Honestly, this sounds pretty good. I, I feel like there's a lot of people out there who aren't crazy about ginger. I've actually been like wanting to try like an actual like ginger shot um, and just see like, I'm just curious about like what those, whether those things are any good. So if I can find one that's like decent priced, I might get them. I actually love kombucha, which, and like those Olipops. So I just feel like I'm, maybe wouldn't mind a ginger stout. I've also seen people make them from like scratch where like they make their own and so that I don't know that I could do. If I like it enough I might try but ooh, it smells good. I actually have some ginger tea already but this is one that just came in the box of the ones to test taste. So we're gonna test taste it and see if I like it. I will see you guys for the test taste. We are back and we are going to test taste the last tea of the week.
Hmm. So in all honesty, I don't really taste like the ginger or the turmeric. I can't really figure out like whether there is ginger or turmeric in it. Whereas my other ginger tea I have, I can like you can taste the ginger and you know there's ginger in it. And it's like that whole like when you drink it, you taste it. Whereas this one, I really don't taste anything. But honestly, that's okay. Because I feel like some people are very like not about the ginger and then some people are very like they don't mind it so i feel like this would be a good drink for someone who is not about the ginger i still like it because ginger is great for when you have like an upset stomach or when you are like just feel like you are very bloated you know for girls time of the month like there are lots of different like things out there i'm not a dietitian so don't be like going in like you know assuming that i know everything i just know that i really like ginger for those specific reasons and i mean the brand that i particularly really love is that one that has all those like you know they even have like a prenatal tea and not yoji but uh, I can't think of the name right now, but I will make sure to go and list it below when I post the video um, because I cannot like think of it off the top of my head. And so, but I, yeah, I, I mean, I still like it. Honestly, I kind of like that it's not super strong on the tournament because I feel like tournament can be like super strong and very like overwhelming. Where a ginger, like, I don't mind and doesn't bother me. So I feel like I kind of like that. Like, and I feel like ginger and turmeric together can be, like, super strong if you, like, overdo it. So I like that it's not super strong. So. You can taste it more the longer it sits. I mean. But honestly, I love it. And I actually... I feel like I definitely did not like a lot of teas this week. So it is satisfying to me to have liked at least a couple. So I will see you guys for the next round of teas. And thank you for watching if you made it this far. And hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what, if you like tea, let me know what type of teas you like below. Thank, don't forget to comment and subscribe.